Okay, note to self. I've been working on that Stuart Copeland snare on the floor there. It's tuned to sound like a Stuart Copeland snare drum. I've been using this tuner app. Works pretty good. Took a little getting used to, but I think I got it. <coughs> well, let's take a look at what um, is going on with that Stuart Copeland snare. As you can see at the top here, let's look at the top head. This is where the strainer is, this is where the butt end is, and each of the lugs around it. Uh, without putting my finger in the middle of the head to deaden it, I'm getting a consistent 92 uh, frequencies, 92 hertz. 92 hertz. And then as I put my finger in the center and tap each of the lugs, getting a consistent 277 all around. These were some experiments earlier that when I didn't quite understand the app. <coughs> Look at the bottom head. Without putting my finger on any of the on the center of the drum to deaden it, I'm getting a consistent 174. And then on each of the lugs, I'm getting a consistent 174. That's on the bottom head, the reso head, the resonator head. So when it comes time to put a new head on that Stuart Copeland snare, I have a way to try to come close to reproducing that sound that I was liking, the way that was tuned. I, theoretically, I can tune it to the same pitch, top and bottom, and theoretically come out with a very similar sound. We'll, we'll find out when we actually do it, but that's, that's the theory anyway. <coughs> that's the theory. And that's it. Thank you for viewing.